Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, what's up, you guys? So on this installment of Hood Ratchetness TV's Men's Lifestyle Tips, I want to talk to you guys about getting dressed up. Now, we all have different occasions for why we're getting dressed up. We could be going to a wedding. We could be going to church. We could be going on a job interview. We could be going to court. We could be going to an array of different things. So it's important that when you're trying to go to these events or these things, that your, your, your look is put together. Um, there was this photo that I saw that kind of sparked this whole thing. Alright, so basically that photo showed one guy that was dressed for his career, his suit was tailored. That is a big word right now that we need to focus on. His suit was tailored, made for him. Then there was this other guy that just put together whatever. And I'm not saying when it comes to a suit, when it comes to for, like formal clothing, that you should spend a lot of money and that you should go and buy things from like the top stores, from Saks Fifth, from Zara's. You know, you can go and buy things from anywhere, from Macy's, from Kmart, from Salvation Army if you have to. But it's the way that the, what makes it, what separates it all is the fit. If there's anything you take from this video, it's that fit. And this goes for women too. There's, style is all, for me, it's all about the fit. If you get the, the fit right, everything else will work into play. Colors and all that other stuff comes in a little later on. But if you get the fit right, that's really important. But when it comes to formal clothing, baggy does not work. It just, it doesn't. You have to go out and you have to. One thing, I was with a friend last week and I was um, looking for some dress pants. We were in a store and I said, you know what? I'm not going to buy it right now because I don't want to try it. Like, I don't want to take the time to try it on. That saved me. That's, that's something that I live by. If you're going to buy something that's supposed to be form fitting you have to try it on you don't want no surprise it's going to take you more time and more money to get home try it on come back realize you don't want it and then go back to the store and all that other stuff so just try it on in the store and that'll save you a lot of trouble what i'm talking about when i'm talking when i say like form fitting you want it to fit your body you don't want no bagginess like right now i'm wearing this tie like i wear my ties like this well actually shout out to my tie collection but um yeah my tie collection it's funny because when I was younger, you couldn't get me to wear a tie. But basically, I wear my ties like this with a little bit of looseness right around the neck. But this is like if I'm going to church or something like that. If I were going on a job interview, it probably it would be top, uh, buttoned up all the way. All right, let's see if you can see right here. You see how there's no room here? A lot of okay, that's a pet peeve of mine. If you're gonna wear a shirt, right, make sure that there's not too much. Don't be, you know, don't choke yourself, but make sure that there's not too much room over here because then you just look ridiculous like that. Like you, you look like you don't care. And then you want to raise this up. You want to raise this, uh, the back part of your tie up. And that's more of a professional look if you're going to a job interview. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to tie a tie really quickly to help you achieve that look of somebody that's going for something instead of that hoodlum in the courtroom. We don't want that look. All right, so you're going to take, this is the widest side right here. Oh, my beautiful YSL tie. But this is the widest side, and this is the shorter side. And you're going to take the widest side, and you're going to wrap it over the shorter side one time. Then you're going to come under it under it and you're going to bring that wide side from under it and you're going to do that one more time over so basically you created two one two two wrappings over this one shorter side and then you're going to take the the thicker side the wider side and you're going to bring it through this space right here through this space check out this right here keep it keep this in mind so you're going to take this right here and you're going to put it in this space right here and then you're going to pull down also, if you want to create an even more formal look, and this is optional, I don't want to put no pressure on anybody, but tie bars. I love, love tie bars. Um, let's see, I'm going to oh, two, two in here. Let's see. I love tie bars. They add a little bit of, little bit of um, something extra to what you're wearing. Just a little bit. Let's see. Let's see this, this. Tie bars are simple, but they add something classy and unique to your look. But really what I'm talking to you guys is about tailoring. It might cost a little bit more, but it's going to work for you in the long run. And sometimes it might, you know, you might want to leave room for flexibility because I know that my weight likes to fluctuate. But uh, with that being said, just get things that fit you. Like, you know, your, your height is not going to change. So that's a big one right there. Well, I mean, if you're at a certain age, your height might not change. But that's a big thing right there. Get the pants that fit your height. That's so important. And I didn't discover that till later on in life. But we all make mistakes and we all learn from them. And that's why I'm here to help you guys learn from the mistakes that I've made. Um... Jackets. When you wear your jacket, you should not be swimming in your jacket. That's just that that just looks terrible. All right. So right there, we cover the shirt, the tie, the pants. It's really up to you to present yourself in a way that that really 
is going to get you noticed for the right reasons. You want to just walk in there and feel confident. And no matter what you're doing, if you're going to court, if you're going to an interview, if you're going to church and you want to have it put together and nobody's saying you have to be perfect and nobody's saying you have to spend a lot of money. Because trust me, two things that I don't have a lot of money and perfection, but you can you always get A for effort for trying, you know what I mean? And for doing your best and not for nothing. People always, I think people always like that. Like when I'm trying to, a lot of the times, this is not really what I would, I grew into this style, but, um, but a lot of times it's just, it's funny because it wasn't something that I was like, grew up with. My brother was the one that loved these things, but, um, but now I get complimented. He gets complimented for it, but I, now I get complimented for it too, because if you're going to do it, you better do it right. And it's all about effort when you put these things together. I hope this video was really helpful. Over and out.